He's done it domestically. Okay, maybe three in a row, because that's a historic achievement. There's only been five teams that have done it. Manchester United have done it twice. Manchester City have never done it. But it does feel like we're at a point where given City's immense financial strength, no one really sees that much merit in the domestic trophies. It's all about Europe. We know that um, Guardiola himself is obsessed with the Champions League. And it will feel like if he doesn't actually go and win it, he won't really have fulfilled his potential. I mean, of course, City would argue that, and many around City would argue that, you know, he's done the least expected. He's been a massive success, but it does feel for everyone else and probably for Guardiola himself, he's got to get that Champions League. Two separate things here in terms of any time you're judging a coach's legacy. One is their influence and one is their own record. And if they go together then you would say we're talking about the, the greatest of all time or, or figures that go beyond. I mean, I suppose like two, two immediately think of, look at, and, and two people that Guardiola considers a great influence. Um, Johan Cruyff from one side of Barcelona, Arrigo Sacchi and the other at Milan. Now, actually, th- despite their rightful historic status, they didn't actually win that much, or, or more so, they, did, they didn't stay in the game that long. Cruyff only managed for a few years. He's only, he's only six at Barcelona, won four league titles in a row and won Champions League. Probably should have won more Champions League. They got that hammering against Milan in the 1994 final. Zaki actually only won, two, well, he won two European Cups and, and, and retained it, which is huge. But the, the strange contradiction there is that he only won one Serie A, which is remarkable. It was Capello that actually brought Milan to another level in terms of winning successive Serie A and, and, and actually playing a completely different style of football. But of course, the, the reason that the achievements of those coaches have such a greater impact is because of the way they played and the way people copied them. One of them being Guardiola. And of course, Guardiola has had that impact in the game himself. I mean, it is an exaggeration. Actually, it isn't an exaggeration. He really did change football. And that goes right down. You, you, if you go down to kind of even grassroots level and schoolboys, the way that kind of passing out from the back has become a staple now to the point that launching it is just, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's very rare to see now. And that is at that sort of level, even schoolboy is a direct consequence of Pep Guardiola. He's completely transformed football in that way. Um, but I suppose to make his career truly complete um, in terms of the influence and the football achievements, he'd, you'd think he'd want that third Champions League. But then, of course, suddenly three Champions League may not necessarily be enough, given that Carlo Ancelotti has four. <laughs> Although he hasn't had Guardiola's influence.